majesty worship his majesty unto jesus be all glory power and praise majesty kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own his anthem reigns majesty worship his majesty unto jesus be all glory power and praise majesty the kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own is and the rain so exalt lift up on high the name of Jesus magnify come glorify Christ Jesus the King majesty worship his majesty Jesus who died is now glorified king of all kings Jesus who died is now glorified king of all kings the soul exalt lift up on high the name of jesus magnify the come glorify christ jesus the king Worship his majesty Jesus who died now glorified King of all kings And Jesus who died now glorified King of all kings My dear brothers and sisters here we are in the presence of Jesus our living God as we approach the holy week as we approach the palm sunday here we are worshiping the king of kings lord of lords majesty 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 17 says To the king of the ages immortal invisible the only god be honor and glory forever and ever amen 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 17 To the king of the ages immortal invisible the only god be honor and glory forever and ever amen brothers and sisters we are before 
the king of kings and lord of lords majesty our jesus the king and here we are brothers and sisters to thank and praise him to adore him to bless him and to give him glory and here we are brothers and sisters to say with our mouths and with our heart majesty you are king Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 onwards When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives Jesus sent two disciples saying to them Go into the village ahead of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her Untie them and bring them to me If anyone says anything to you just say this the lord needs them and he will send them immediately this took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet saying tell the daughter of zion look your king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey and on a colt to the foal of a donkey his brothers and sisters this is our king and verse 6 onward says the disciples went and did as jesus had directed them They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, "Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest." To the king of the ages, immortal invisible the only god be honor and glory forever and ever amen brothers and sisters here we are before the king of kings and lord of lords let us worship the king of kings and lord of lords let us worship majesty let us worship the great i am let us worship jesus and brothers and sisters let us not just worship with our mouths but in spirit and truth with our heart let us worship our lord because we know that it is wonderful to worship the lord we are blessed when we worship the lord and here we are before the king of kings and lord of lords majesty majesty worship is majesty and to jesus be all glory power and praise majesty kingdom authority flows from his throne and to his own is anthem raised so we exalt lift up on high the name of Jesus magnify come glorify Christ Jesus the king majesty worship is majesty Jesus who died is now glorified the king of all kings so we exalt lift up on high the name of Jesus magnify Glorify 
Christ Jesus the King Majesty Worship His Majesty Jesus who died is now glorified King of all kings Jesus who died is now glorified King of all kings Jesus who died now glorified King of all kings Jesus who died is now glorified King of all kings Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Oh we bless you, hallelujah, hallelujah we give you praise, we give you thanks. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we are in the presence of Jesus, the living God. And today, as we are worshipping the King of Kings, we are very close to Palm Sunday. Osana is the song. He is the King of Kings. Lord of Lords. And it is time to make Jesus the King of our hearts, the Lord of our hearts, Adonai. Brothers and sisters, as we are in the presence of the Lord and as we are about to hear his word, we are worshipping the word, Jesus is the word. This reading is from Mark chapter 6 verses 20. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man. And he protected him. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed. And yet he liked to listen to him. And yet he liked to listen to him. And verses 26 we read, The king was deeply grieved. Yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. He did not want to refuse her. Brothers and sisters, this is something that we do not concentrate on. We all know that King Herod, after the verses 26, gives an order to get the head of John the Baptist on a platter because he had made the oath to Herodias' daughter. He had made an oath to her that whatever he asked of her, even half of the kingdom is, he'll give her. So brothers and sisters, what do we see? We are looking at Mark chapter 6 verses 20 and verses 26. I begin from the last part. It says, Herod liked to listen to him. This is a part that many of us, most of us have not concentrated on. 
Herod, it says, yet he liked to listen to him. Yet Herod liked to listen to John the Baptist. Yes, brothers and sisters, this word is also about you and me. This word is also about you and me. Many of us like to listen to the word of God. Preachers, priests, religious, we like to listen to the word of God. We like to listen to holy men and holy women, offline, online. Will they do their part? We like to listen to them. We like to listen to them. Brothers and sisters here, listening is different from doing. There is a world of difference between listening the word of God and doing the word of God. Anyone can listen to the word of God, but to do the word of God, to do the word of God, no matter how difficult it is, it requires bending our will and doing the will of God. Doing what pleases God. So there's a big difference between listening to someone. And you may even like to listen to some preachers. You may have a collection of their talks on YouTube. You may even like to listen to some preachers. And it is good. By the way, it is good. Because there are many who do not even listen to the word of God. Well, for me, I have listened to the word of God of elders and other preachers and priests and it has made a big impact on my life. Big, big impact on my life. I know for all of us it is the same. But here, between verses 20 and 26, what happens is the king throws a banquet, a party and there he is in a relationship with his brother's wife, a wrong relationship. And this is an unhealthy, sinful soul tie that God does not like. And John the Baptist told time and again to King Herod that you are in a wrong relationship, you need to separate. But he did not mind. He wanted to do what he felt was right. And he thought that he was doing God's will. And then we have this young girl putting up a wonderful dance. And the king was so happy that without a thought, he tells, half of the kingdom I will give to you. Half of the kingdom. Up to half of the kingdom. You can ask anything you want. She goes to her mother. Her mother is already angry with John the Baptist. And tells, and the mother tells the daughter, tell the king to give the head of John the Baptist on a platter, on a plate. And that is when we have verses 26. The king was deeply grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Brothers and sisters, King Herod was faced with a dilemma. Should he please man or should he please God? Should he have the approval of man or should he have the approval of God? And this is what exactly we are going to meditate on. Do I need the approval of God or do I need the approval of man? Do I need to please God or do I need to please Man and myself. A choice has to be made. A daily choice has to be made. Should I please God who loves me, who died for me, who gives me everything that I need, who protects me, who provides me, who guides me day and night, who fills me with his love early in the morning, steadfast love, his mercy early in the morning, He's there with me, never leaving me. Should I obey my God or should I obey man? 
Should I get the approval of God or should I get the approval of man? And here we find King Herod. He is caught up between the two. He likes to listen to John the Baptist. And it was John the Baptist who was the one who was saying the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. He was the one who was saying, you brood of vipers, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And the king was coming to it. The king liked to listen to what John the Baptist was preaching. But as I told you in the beginning, there's a big difference between listening and doing. To listen, anyone can listen to the word of God. Anyone can listen to a preaching. But to do the word of God, we really need to love God. It is not easy to do the word of God. Because by nature, we would like to do what we want, what is pleasing to us. And not what is pleasing to God. If we little by little start or beginning to do what is pleasing to God and get the approval of God, our life will become holy, pure and sanctified. But we want to do what is pleasing to ourselves and to others. Here, the king had given an oath to Herodias' daughter. And he had made the oath in front of the guests. His reputation was at stake. He knew that what he was doing was wrong. The king was deeply grieved. That is because his conscience was pricking. Within him, the conscience was telling, what you are doing is wrong, what you are doing is against the will of God. And yet, to please his guests and to keep his oath, he does what is wrong. Brothers and sisters, how true the same verse is applicable first to me and to every one of us. We hardly give thought to God. We hardly give any thought about God. But we, but we, my dear brothers and sisters, we think about how can I please others? How can I please my own self? We are in the time just few days before the Holy Week. And this message, beginning with me, and for every one of you who is watching this program. Are we living in a way to get the approval of God or are we living in a way to get the approval of man? What we heard just now about King Herod, many of us, rather most of us, including me, I am also an Herod. What about you, my dear brother? What about you, my dear sister? We are sitting in the presence of the Lord. Are we not like Herods? Do we not compromise? Do we not seek the approval of man, whether it is wrong or right, rather than the approval of God? Do we not become like Herod, try to please people rather than please God? Do we not seek our own glory rather than the glory of God. And brothers and sisters, it is time that we meditate, we look into our own selves. Am I an Herod? Is it time for me to change? Is it time for me to change? I'm in the fag end of this period of Lent. I'm in the, just, just the one week away from the period of Lent. Uh, rather the holy week I'm in the last part of the period of Lent, just one week away from the Holy Week. And God is speaking to me loud and clear. To all of us, are we living in a way to find the approval of man or are we living in a way to approve God? Yes, brothers and sisters, in Acts chapter 24, verses 15, St. Paul says, So I always take pains to have a clear conscience towards God and towards men. Yes, conscience is the part of the heart of man. 
And St. Paul is saying in Acts chapter 24, verses 15, so I always take pains. He says he takes pains. He's not a compromiser. He takes pains to have a clear conscience, number one, towards God, and then also towards man. Because he says, the choices which I make have to be pleasing to my God who loves me more than anyone, more than any other human being in this world. There is no one equal to my Jesus, to my God. So I always take pains, St. Paul says, to have a clear conscience towards God and also towards man. What about us, brothers and sisters? In our decisions, in our daily decisions, in our choices, can we say we have a clear conscience towards God and towards man? If I am doing something which is pleasing to God and it is not pleasing to man, then you and I should be very cut clear this is wrong in the sight of God. So your conscience in regard to that person is also very clear and pure. I think we need to stand up and say, I don't want to serve alcohol in this wedding because God is not approving of it. And my conscience does not approve. But I can serve you the best of food for this wedding. Yes, brothers and sisters, let us not be a compromiser. To live in God's approval is not easy. To live in God's approval is not easy, but it is challenging. No wonder St. Paul says, so I always take pains to have a clear conscience towards God and towards men. What is the meaning of that? You and I will have to pay a price. We have to be ready to pay a price to live for the approval of God. Because people may give us names. People may insult us in front of others that we are old-fashioned, old-minded. Because we are not doing the same things that they are doing. We are not having the same attitude that they are having. No wonder St. Paul says, So I always take pains to have a clear conscience towards God and towards men. To live in God's approval is not easy, brothers and sisters. It is challenging. I repeat it. It's challenging. We will, be, we will have to be ready. We have to make up our mind to pay a price. I will be honest. Some people may not like it. I will be clear, some people may not like it. I will say no to the wrong, some people may not like it. I will clearly say no to the person who is working with me in the office for something wrong and that person may not like it and may even have enmity. Yet, I choose to have the approval of God rather than approval of men. Brothers and sisters, when we have a heart when we have a heart that desires to honor Jesus, we will always keep him in front. When we have a heart to have the approval of God rather than the approval of man, we will do what is good in his sight. Yes, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, let us place both our palms over our heart. Let us ask the Lord, Lord Jesus, up to now, I was not honoring you. But this is my desire to honor you, Lord. This is my desire that through my life, I seek your approval. Maybe I may not be successful immediately, but little by little, let me begin to live for you, for your glory to do what is pleasing in your sight. Lord, give me a heart. Give me a heart that desires to honor you. Brothers and sisters, wherever we are, let us place both our palms over our chest. Let us worship the Lord as we sing this song. This is my desire to honor you Lord with all 
my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is in you. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your way in me. Yes, brothers and sisters. It is with our heart that we seek the approval of God. And it is the same heart that we can seek the approval of man. Brothers and sisters, it takes pain to have a clear conscience. Our old ways have to be given up so that we can live the rest of our lives seeking the approval of God and not the approval of man. Lord, I give you my heart. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul I live for you alone Every breath that I take Every moment I'm awake Lord, have your way in me Lord, have your way in me Jesus, this is my desire to honor you. I've been trying to honor other people, but that was not giving approval to you, Lord. Not for your sake, Lord. Jesus, this is my desire to honor you. All my life. All my life, Lord Jesus. I want to honor you, Lord. And brothers and sisters, 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verses 7 says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. And brothers and sisters, it is with the heart that we can seek the approval of God or we can seek the approval of man. Maybe all this time we have been living for the approval of others. What will they say? What will they say? But now it is time to seek the approval of God. Let us surrender our heart to the Lord. Let our lives be a worship to the Lord as we seek the approval of our God. And brothers and sisters, Ezekiel 36 and verses 27 says, I will put my spirit within you. I will put my spirit within you so that you will walk in my ways and obey my commands. And before that, the Lord says in Ezekiel 36, 25 to 27, I will pour clean waters upon you and cleanse you from all your uncleanliness. From all your idols, I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take away from your flesh the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. My spirit. Yes, brothers and sisters, it is only with our will, surrendering our will to the will of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit can we Seek the approval of God rather than the approval of man. Brothers and sisters, you and I need the Holy Spirit. You and I need the Holy Spirit.
come Holy Spirit Fall afresh on me Fill me with your power Satisfy my need Only you can make me Give me strength to make me grow Come Holy Spirit Fall afresh on me Brothers and sisters, we need the Holy Spirit Tell the Holy Spirit that we need His anointing Every day, every day so that we can live for the approval of our God who loves us so much to give his own life for our sake. Let us ask our loving Father, fill us with your spirit every day so that we can live for your approval and not for the approval of man. So that we can live to please you every day in all our choices. Even if we have to displease others, we will have to live a life to please you. And Lord, we need your power. We need your strength. We need your Holy Spirit. For your word says, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit Fall afresh on me Fill me with your power Satisfy my need Only you can make me whole Give me strength to make me grow Come Holy Spirit Fall afresh on me Fall afresh on me Fall afresh on me Hallelujah, 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 we bless you, oh we praise you, we give you thanks, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we now enter the time of divine mercy. We, I'm accompanied with Sister Mabel de Cruz, who will be praying the divine mercy chaplet along with me. Hallelujah. 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 As we come before you, Lord, this time of adoration, as we recite the divine mercy of chaplet, let us surrender all our intentions and petitions before the Lord Jesus, who is present before us. Let Jesus intercede for all a humble prayers of our dear brothers and sisters. Yes, Lord. We greet everyone on the feast of St. Joseph. Pope Francis said, like St. Joseph, once we have heard God's voice, we must rise from our slumber, we must get up and act. You expired Jesus, Jesus but, the but the source, source of life, life gushed gush forth, forth for souls, souls and, and the ocean of mercy opened up, up for the whole world. world. O, o font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, we, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, 
as a font of mercy for us, we trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for our families. Abba Father, in this decade, we pray for all the families all over the world. Yes, Lord. This is your vineyard, a beautiful garden created by you. We pray and surrender all the families at your hand, Jesus. Bless all the families, especially we surrender to you broken families, divided, divorced, financially distressed, those who are suffering with incurable diseases, childless couples, widows, orphans, experiencing of loneliness, rejected, abused, aged, those who are hospitalized, families are struggling with addicted from alcohol, different addictions, suicides, court case, property issues. Abba, Father, cleanse all the families with the precious blood of your dearly beloved Son, Jesus, yes, Lord. who is present before us. Amen. Fill all the families with your Holy Spirit. Create a new spirit in us, one heart, mind, soul, and spirit. Bless us with your unity, peace among us. May our home be a Nazareth of a school. Mother Mary, Saint Joseph, faithful protector of our homes, keep us safe from danger and harm, now and forever. Amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. A mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. A mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. A mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. A mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. A mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. A mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Loving Father, in the second decade, we especially pray for the entire mankind especially those who have lost the sense of sin and they continue in that sin not knowing that it is destructive and sin will destroy their soul. We pray for our brothers and sisters throughout the world who have lost the sense of sin 
and to do things sinful as if it is a normal activity lord be merciful to them we pray lord we pray for our own selves that we will have hatred for sin we pray for our own selves lord that we will be sensitive to sin and seek your help when temptation comes we pray for our family members and all our near and dear ones we make this prayer in the name of jesus christ our lord amen, amen. eternal father we offer, offer you the body and soul, blood soul, soul and, and divinity, divinity of, of your dearly your beloved, beloved son our lord jesus christ in, in atonement for, for our sins, sins and, and those of, of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world abba father in this ticket a couples we pray we remember all the couples in our prayer keep us from pitiness let us be thoughtful in word and deed help us to put away pretense and face each other in deep trust faith love without fear and self pity jesus keep us away from fault finding and be quick to discover the best in the other help couples to spend time together and to know each other better guard the couples from ill temper and hasty judgments teach them never to take each other for granted engrave charity and compassion on their hearts for each other May the love that brought couples together grow and mature with each passing year and bring them both closer to your blessed heart and to each other to the intercession of mother mary saint joseph most chaste pray for all of us to live in chastity all the days of our life amen eternal father we, we offer, offer you, you the, the body, body and blood soul and, and divinity of, of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world loving father in this fourth decade we lift up to you all those who need the healing of the lord father we surrender to you all those who are spiritually sick emotionally sick and physically sick we lift up to you all those who need your healing and loving touch lord especially we pray for people who are emotionally sick who are going through various mental disorders 
and psychic problems as well, Lord. We pray for people who are living in anxiety and worry. We pray for people who are depressed. We pray for people who have suicidal tendencies. We pray for people who are living in fear, Lord, inferiority complex. We pray for people who are abused in their life and they are shattered, Lord. May your touch of healing today be a miracle in their lives. Transform them, Lord. We pray for people who are sick physically in hospitals, in their homes, unable to recover, Lord. Many of them in the deathbed, Lord. And Lord, we especially want to remember all those youth and children throughout the world and in our own homes. We pray for all those who will be appearing for examination this week and in the following week. May your touch be with them. May they know it is you who have touched them. We make this prayer, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father, we, we offer, offer you the body, body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, Son our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for, for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. We pray for the church. Abba Father, in this decade, we pray for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. We pray for our Pope Francis, Cardinals, Archbishops, Bishops, Priests, Religious and all the laity for good health in mind, body and soul. Abba Father, Give us holy priest and religious. May the power of your mercy accompany them. Wherever they are at this moment, we surrender to you and pray for the divine retreat center. We pray for our Reverend Father Augustine Valluran, Father John Kanecheri, Father Philip, our superior, Father Baiju, Father Sister Maria Sangita, Brother Glenn, Sister Teresa, and Brother Milton, all the Vincentian priests, various congregation sisters, preachers, counselors, translators, music ministry, intercessors, volunteers, media communications, protect each and every one. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and to serve you in your holy place. And bless all those who are watching this moment. Bless the family members. Yes, Lord. Shower your blessings on them, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Keep them in good health. Yes, Lord. Give them your love, joy, peace, and happiness. Yes, Lord. Above all, your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Through the intercession of Mother Mary, Saint Joseph, all the angels and saints, the choirs of angels, intercede. For each and every one. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father, we, we offer, offer you, you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake 
of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one and mercy on us and on the whole world holy god Holy mighty one holy immortal one and mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one and mercy on us and on the whole world closing prayer eternal god in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen as brothers and sisters in the presence of our lord in the presence of his mercy and his grace the lord has touched us the lord has blessed us and moreover through the word of god he is telling us that we should seek his approval and not the approval of man brothers and sisters i request you all to kneel down now as we are going to receive the final blessings sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanks give be every moment thy o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanks giving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks. 